Hey folks, this is Man once again doing another random review. This is of a film that I decided to give another shot. Um, and that is Sam Raimi's Return to Horror Drive Me to Hell, which I rented from the place I work at, Mr. Movies. Uh, this is a film that got a lot of praise when it came out. Didn't get much for box office, but got a lot of praise. Gets like a 6.9 on IMDb. I think Rotten Tomatoes, I swear it was like a 90 some percent. Like it was really, really high. A lot of good critical notices. As well as a lot of people on YouTube. And I know like my friend Michael Keane. And a lot of people enjoy this film. But I gave it another shot. Now, the story is you have this girl played by Allison Lohman. Um, she's been in a few stuff, but uh, I know she was in Gamer. She was in uh, a film called Matchstick Men, which I can't say without words, without his thing. Beowulf, she was in. Uh, a few other films and TV, but not too many. Uh, she is working for this loan office. And her boyfriend slash fiance is played by Justin Lawn. And Justin Lawn's pretty successful. She overhears Justin Lawn's mom saying, Oh, you know, but you need someone who's going to, you know, help you out as well. And, you know, not just some little girl. And she's not getting anywhere in life. And Allison Loman, her character, she's trying to get this, uh, was it the assistant or. Uh, anyway, uh, this promotion at her job, and her boss played by David Paymer, who you've seen, if you look up David Paymer, you've seen him in quite a few flicks. He was in City Slickers, I remember him from the um, first half of uh, Chill Factor. He's been in a lot of films, David Paymer. Um, long story short, you have this old woman come in one day who needs a loan. Otherwise she will be vacated out of her home. She'll be kicked out of her home and she's had like two notices already. So this is the third notice and she you know you feel sorry for this woman at first because she only has like one good eye and she's coughing and she has to take her teeth out and put them back in. And one thing leads to another. She not sure what to do at first. Goes to David Pamer, her boss, and he goes well, blah, 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 but it's your choice. It's up to you. And now this uh, lead has a choice. And she really wants a promotion very badly. So she decides to take that and go, I'm sorry, ma'am. We, we can't give you any more loans. And so the old woman begs and on her knees and is begging for her. And instead of handling it the right way, she sort of, pulls away and she slams to the floor and has sit, has guards on her and she's like you've shamed me and then puts a curse on her and then all this crazy stuff happens and then apparently in three days she will be dragged to hell now watching this film again I don't like it I'm sorry it might, I'm not saying it's one of the worst horror films I've seen I mean a Serbian film and Human Centipede and, and Martyrs, those are some of the worst horror films I've ever seen. Along with feeders and fucking, you know. But <clears throat> a return to horror for Sam Raimi, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't get that. I really don't. After watching this film, giving it a second shot, I don't get it. And this unrated stuff is bullshit. This is a PG-13 film. You know what's weird? The unrated version is nine seconds shorter. That's the only difference. You know what the difference between these two versions? That makes it from PG-13 to unrated? Again, and the theatrical cut, she goes through some shit, and she she went to this uh, guy who read her palm. One of the leads and he said, you know, you don't have to sacrifice an animal. And she said, no, I can't do that. So the demon comes and throws her around a little bit, and she has this little cat, looks like a kitten. And the theatrical cut is much longer where she's like, kitty, 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 kitty. And you just cut to outside and you hear the cat scream, the, the kitten. 
and then she buries it. Here it's shorter, but I guess all you see is that cuts right to her seeing the putting doing like this with the knife, and you see like blood splatter her face, and then buries the cat. That's that's the that's the only difference. Nine seconds. <clears throat> Unrated director's cut. Yeah, nine seconds shorter than the PG-13 cut. So, this this unrated stuff. Look, unrated, and then they have to say it two times. Unrated director's cut. Unrated. And I'm sorry. Yeah, this film has some good camera angles, camera movements. But so did Evil Dead films. I mean, for one, it's PG-13. Okay. Number two, the ending is on the fucking cover. See this cover? That's the ending of the movie. Oh, I spoiled it. No, I didn't. It's like quarantine. The ending's on the fucking cover. Um, Allison Lohman. Okay, her character, does she deserve to go to hell for what she did? No. No one, you know, no. Unless you're a murderer, pedophile, you know, that sick shit. But, you know, going to hell, no. But at the same time, when you're going to a film, you know it's a movie, you know it's fake, you know it's a character, deep down. And to be honest, you know that, you know, these people, you know, they're, you know, they're just doing a movie. My point is, Alison Lohman's character... Yes, going to hell is very, very severe. At the same time, you don't care about this character. So I didn't care about her predicament. Because it's a character, it's fake, but I don't think it's a good character. I think it's, you know, it's a character who submitted to her greed and she's getting her comeuppance. Grant, she doesn't, it's severe, but at the same time, you don't care about her. You know, she had a choice and she took the wrong choice. And this woman, you know, then she bade, and then she made a second wrong choice. And it's like she's a stupid character. She keeps making the wrong choice. And then, you know, lying and saying, oh, he told me, you know, you can't, and uh, you can't, we can't give you a loan when she could. Then when she bades, she, oh, get off me, and then the security guards, that's number two. And then, like, then you have that really silly ass scene in the car when she, it's in the garage and she's being attacked. And people say this is funny and scary. I was never scared. It's, it's the boo scare movie of the year, maybe. It's all it is is about boo scares, the cheapest scares possible. Boo, you know. And then oh, is that that loud noise? And, um. I just didn't find it funny, and people are like, well, Evil Dead films I never found scary, but they were entertaining. Um, yeah, they had the great camera moves and movements, but this was Bruce Campbell pre-asshole days. You know, this is before he got the ego and the asshole business. You watch Evil Dead too. That Bruce Campbell you can move for, and it's R-rated to the extreme. And Ash, yeah, he's not the smartest Diddy, but you feel sorry for him. Okay, you feel sorry for him. You know. He didn't, dude, what's this? Oh, blah, blah, blah. He didn't read the book. He was there. Oh, okay. Whoa, shit. Uh, but yeah, the, the garage scene, I was get back to that. You know, the funny bit of business is, oh, she uses stapler and staples the old bitch's eye. And... When she hits, gets the car, the old woman hits, and her fake teeth fall out, and then tries to bite her, but she's gumming her. I know it's supposed to be goofy, I know Evil Dead films are goofy, but at the same time, I could handle Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 with the laughing, you know, lamp, and I could handle it, because it just... The R-rated tone of it, even the story, I think, was more interesting. Bruce Campbell's character was more interesting in those films. And here it's like, oh, just, 
wasn't funny. It was stupid. Very fucking stupid. And, you know, wasn't thrilling or scary. And then she curses the woman. Gives her the curse. And you have little bits of business where whether she's at dinner and sees, oh, there's an eyeball. And I'm like, I saw that shit in fucking Stephen King's It. You stole it from Stephen King's It when the fucking... Friends get together at the end, and you have the little thing look like a walnut pop out, and there's an eyeball. You stole that from fucking Steve Teens I saw that already, for fuck's sake. Only this is in a cake. And then, oh, we have a loud noise. Ah, you know, like, I'm sure if you were in the theater, your fucking ears would be bleeding. Would explode. Speaking of explode, you have the scene where she gets a nosebleed, and then, like, a little fire hose of blood. And David Pamer. The only thing you can say is, did I get any in my mouth? Yeah, my dick in your mouth, for fuck's sake. I mean, not like, holy shit, like, Evil Dead, even Evil Dead, they kind of play off as, like, Ash would play off as if it's, even if it's something insane, at least in Evil Dead 1 2, they would kind of play off as, you know, real reaction. Like, they're scared, and it's like, but no, a fire hose, it's, uh, you know, David Payne like, Oh, did I get it in my mouth? I'm like, dude, the bitch had a fucking fire hose come out of her fucking nose. I know, it's supposed to be a comedy. But, horror comedy, I guess. But it wasn't really funny. I didn't laugh. I'm like, okay, she bled a lot from her nose. I've seen that before. It wasn't, I mean, Sam Raimi, this is the first horror film he did since... I wouldn't even call Army of Darkness a horror movie. Evil Dead 2? Which again is more of a horror comedy. I mean the last movie you did in this genre, Dark Man I wouldn't call horror. Uh, then Quick to the Dead, that's Western. Dark Man is more of an action comic book stop type. It's not based on a comic book, but it's you know, a superhero kind of way. Uh, action movie. I would call it more of an action movie. <laughs> And then Spider-Man movies, they they were horrific, but that's another story, another day. But I'm like, and then she just beat around a little bit, barely has any scars, and it's like, then she kills this kitten cat, and I'm like, okay, I, I'm a cat person, I love the pussy, I love many types of pussy. I don't like to see pussy get killed, including kittens. Or real pussies. I don't like either one stabbed. Not really my kind of thing. And when she killed the, the little... It looked like a kitten. I mean, it looked very small. I'm like, okay, fuck you, bitch. I mean, I, I mean, fuck your... Ash got through more shit. Ripley got through more shit than you. Fucking Sarah Connor got through more shit. Nancy from the original Elm Street. Lisa Wilcox. Alice. They went through more shit. They didn't fucking kill little animals and shit. Especially your, your own fucking cat. And then she's pissed. Oh, I killed the cat. You said it would work. It's like there's no guarantees. That's what the guy says. And then you have like a stupid seance. Which ultimately the seance proves useless. Because at the end of the day it doesn't even fucking work. That's what they said. It didn't work. Basically, you know, she's got to pay $10,000 to this lady. It's like, oh, that's where your soul costs. $10,000. Smack ruse. And Justin Long. Justin Long does what he can, but he has nothing to do. At least, I guess at least he doesn't die, like in Jeepers Creepers. You know, he must have been like, wow, I don't get to die this time. The lady gets to die. Ha <laughs> ha. In Jeepers Creepers, I had to die. And the lady had to live. Got to live. But now I get to live. <laughs> I like Justin Long and... He does what he can in this film, but he's, you know, doesn't have much to do. But the seance, I mean, basically people get possessed, and it's pretty much like a deadite. You know, pretty much like Evil Dead. Only PG-13. And, oh, you get possessed goat! Ha 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 So funny. What's sad is that's probably one of the more interesting things in the movie is the possessed goat. 
But it's just, it's not funny. The comedy is not funny. I mean, the fucking Looney Tunes thing, which, it, I mean, again, I know there's crazy stuff in the Evil Dead films. I know that. But you had a better lead actor. You had great, lots of great camera and, and movements. But you had more to it. You just had more to it. Army of Darkness had more action, the be great one-liners, and a great hero. Like Ash was a good character. Bruce Campbell, you know, from all the stories I hear, he's an asshole at many people. So you can, but the character was good. Um, and like the story, like I'm not much for you know the curse type movies. Maybe that's why. Not every single movie, but when it's just a witch and it's a curse. Like I'm not a fan of thinner. I don't like Stephen King's thinner. You know, how about thicker so you can blow up and boom, be much quicker. But I'm not a fan of thinner, especially that shitty ass um, nihilistic ending. I don't care if it ended that way. I don't care. It was fucking all great. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just not a fan of thinner. But yeah, I think Michael King he likes that too. So that's cool. Uh, but I mean, I don't know where else to go with it. It just the whole witch and curse. Oh, it's not a remake, and it's not. I'm like, so what? So what? Yes, it's not a remake. Yes, it's not like a Serbian film and stuff. Thank God. So what? I'm supposed to automatically like it because of what it's not? No. So you gotta look at the moment. Go okay. Would I watch this again? I watched this second time to give it another chance, and no, I. I don't care about this lead actress. Uh, the bits of CGI, like the Looney Tune thing, where they're in a... You might as well call it her work shed. Another Evil Dead 2 thing. It's like, Sam Raimi, fuck you. Why don't you just do Evil Dead 4? That's kind of another thing that pisses me off. It's like, instead of doing this... Yes, I have shorts on. I don't know if I... This was... Ooh, skin. Ooh, skin. Sorry, I'm just going crazy. But it's like, you fuck you, Sam Raimi. You're just like... You put in little bits of what an Evil Dead 4 would be, but no, you're not going to do Evil Dead 4, and you never will. Just like, they were the reason why they didn't have Ash and Freddy vs. Jason 2, because they would have done that, but then Sam Raimi and them were like, no, we don't want to ruin the character, because we may want to do an Evil Dead 4 or a remake. And so what are they doing? They're doing a fucking remake. Which, there is no Ash in it, so it wouldn't have fucking mattered. Free version Jason 2 with Ash. If you're doing a remake with no Ash, here's Ash, and then here's Evil Dead. Evil Dead is not in Free vs. Jason title, and Ash is not in your Evil Dead remake. So it's like two separate things, you dumb fuck. Or oh, it would not have been good. Maybe it would have been fun. would have been better than some of these other movies, I think. Plus, I like Free vs. Jason. Hell, I have more than this movie. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but, like, the, the... Yeah, the word shed. And there just happens to be a fucking anvil. I guess this lady just loves to have her fucking anvils tied up in the ceiling. You know, it's like you take this scene, you put the fucking Looney Tunes theme. CGI eyeballs pop out. CGI blood hits her face. Looked really fucking awful. I'm like, yeah, that's why they use CGI blood. MPAA knows that looks fake. They know that looks like a cartoon. And people do that so they can get the PG-13, so they can show it on the sci-fi channel, which once in a while they show actual practical goodness, but a lot of it's CGI because not only does it go by quicker, but it looks like a cartoon. MPA know they know it looks like a cartoon. That's why they can bypass it. You know. Oh, you know, CGI blood looks like a cartoon, so we will not give this an R rating. Think about it. if you have a movie where someone gets an anvil dropped on their head and a fucking eyeballs pop out and their head gets squished, that would be an automatic R rating. The fact that it was such a bad crappy CGI and it's PG thirteen, and yes, I saw the theatrical version. The PG th the way it was intent put in theaters, okay, and that it was all in its quote glory if you want to call it. In. But that's the point. Well, it's not funny. It was stupid and it looked horrible. It looked 
fucking ugly. And not disgusting, but like, where the fuck is Bud's Bunny? Okay, why don't you just do that, Sam Raimi? Why don't you take the same movie and put fucking Bud's Bunny in it, only at the end, he turns around and sends some fucking Elmer Fudd to hell and goes, ain't I a stinker? That's all, bitches. Just do that fucking movie. Fucking do a live action. I don't give a fuck. Then you have the ending where the guy finally fucking tells her what to do. Oh, this button. Give it to someone. And she's wondering, shit, man. Oh, man. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to do? And, of course, she only has a limited amount of time. Now, of course, here's the thing. If the guy had told her at the beginning, when she had a little bit more time, then maybe she could give it to a fucking rapist, a pedophile. Oh, well, how would she do that? Send it to fucking prison. Find someone in prison who's a fucking murderer, a rapist, write a fucking letter, get it in there, and they all they do is check it, right? Oh, you you have a fan. They get fucking letters and shit in jail. Some fucking rapist, murderer, you know, and send him to fucking hell. Boom, end of story. Then she gets the idea, well, I give it back to her. Can you give stuff back to the dead? Because the old lady, her body, she's, she's died uh, since then. And she does it. And the ending is fucking stupid. Because she goes to the fucking cemetery. She digs her up. And, like, the body doesn't really do anything to her. It's all her dumbass fault. It just makes her seem like a fucking stupid moron. Because she's messing around and, like, all the thing comes up and like I guess somehow grabs her hair. You don't see a lunge out and attack her. No, it's almost like Oh ah fucking hair. Oh, oh you bitch take this. Oh shit, I can't get out of the fucking grave. Oh oh shit, I I fucking stood here in a post too long to let it fucking fill up and let the fucking dirt get so soft so I can't climb out because I'm a dumbass. Oh shit, I knocked this fucking cross up. Woo boom. Oh, I'm still alive, even though I'm a dumbass. It's not like a spirit is fucking attacking her and trying to keep her down there. At all. <laughs> and then you know the fucking... Oh, yeah. How it ends with this. When she is with Justin Lawn, she has the envelope, like, right here. I'm like, why don't you put it in your fucking pocket? It's kind of important and stuff. They put it right here. Put that shit in your pocket. I put it in my fucking pocket and then put my hand inside my pocket just to make sure. This is like the most important thing in your life. So of course they did. Oh shit, they gotta stop the car and it flies off. And then, oh shit, where is it? Oh, here's the envelope. Doesn't open it to make sure that's, you know, the correct thing that is still in there. Oh shit, you know, like she doesn't open the envelope. Oh shit, it's still in there. We'll reseal it. No. This is like the most important thing. Oh, I found it. Uh, even though I saw like a bunch of other fucking papers there. And the clutter of shit. I would want to make sure. Oh hell, take the envelope and write something so you know it's yours. You know? Or write something. Write the, uh, um, what would Jesus do? Or, you know. Um, go fuck yourself, Scooter, or something like that. Um, kiss my grits. I don't care. And then fucking, you know, Justin Long has the envelope, and like, oh, you know, I guess, you know, I had this coin, but it's gone. I For some reason, I have your button. And then she falls onto these railroad tracks, and she gets pulled to hell, pretty much just like the fucking cover of the movie. And I don't understand why this film gets so much praise. It was never scary. It was never funny. Oh, her teeth fly out. She tries to gun the ground. Oh, the demonic goat. Really? That demonic goat looked like the fucking shit in Evil Dead 2 that was laughing ass. You're ripping off shit from your own fucking movie, Sammy boy. Evil Dead 2, that a. <laughs> I'm like the same fucking thing. I saw that shit in Evil Dead 2. 
which I just got on Blu-ray and watched again, and I enjoy Evil Dead too. You most uh, and a fucking anvil on a CGI head with CGI eyeballs that look like crap. Obviously for the PG-13 rating. And oh, it's a witch and a curse. I don't give a fuck on a character I don't care for. In real life, if it was someone, yes. Them going to hell, very severe. I would not wish any harm on them. I would definitely would not wish that on them. But as a character in a movie that we know it's fake, I'm like, okay, I don't care about this girl. I don't care about this actress. Don't give a shit. You know? She don't kill her pussy? Now her pussy's in hell. <laughs> Different pussy. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you know, it's, uh, oh, here's a shot scene, uh, the witch, uh, throws up maggots on her. Yeah, that's scary. It's just, it's boring. It's a boring movie. I'm sorry. I can understand why this was not a hit. You know, I rented this for free, and then felt I wasted my fucking time. I know, it's 26-minute review, I know. But, yeah, this movie can kiss my ass, this movie can suck my dick, this movie can eat crow, for all I care. I don't give a shit about this fucking movie. This movie can eat it. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really see the appeal for this film. It's not fun. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. There's nothing to this movie. Unlikable actress. I don't give a fuck about a character. The ending is on the fucking cover. Uh, Looney Tunes bullshit. A demonic gold. Hey, I saw that shit in fucking. Uh, I saw that shit in this fucking other movie called Horror. I forget what the hell the. It was the guy who was going to direct the uh, Halloween film. That was Halloween. Dante Tomaselli. I saw a film called Horror. Very low budget. I saw a goat that was used a hell a lot more effective than fucking Drag Me to Hell. PG 13 bullshit. Oh, an unrated cut that's only. The only difference is nine seconds shorter. So the bitch fucking killing her pussy. Her little kitten pussy. I don't like that. You know, I like kittens. I like pussy. Uh, they both go together. Well, not together. That'd be a f different movie. But probably made from fucking Serbian, from f fucking wife of the Serbian film guy. You know, and then he fucking oh, fuck that guy. That guy can go to hell. <laughs> Send his ass to hell. Anyway, anyway, not a fan of this movie. So thanks for watching. Take care. And sue me if you like this film. Be my guest. Sue me that I don't agree with you. Sue the shit out of me. I have no money, so you can't sue me. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> For any haters out there, it's my fucking opinion. You can have yours. I can have mine. If you disagree, that's cool, seriously. If you disagree, you know, you don't have to agree with my review. You can like the film. That's cool. But if you want to be, oh, go fuck yourself, you know, go fuck yourself, man. You know what? Tell that to your girlfriend. And tell her that she has to shave. But anyway, thanks for watching, and take care. Later.